65 million years ago, a world that belonged to the dinosaurs suffered a cosmic catastrophe, obliterating the kingdom of Tyrannosaurus Rex. For 65 million years, the bones of the last king of the dinosaurs lay hidden. Then, at the turn of the 20th century, scientists began to coax the first fragments from the badlands of western North America. It stood 18 feet tall, 40 feet from head to tail. Today, the bones of Tyrannosaurus rex allow us to encounter the greatest meat-eating machine of the prehistoric world. Tyrannosaurus rex has become the most famous of the dinosaurs, the ultimate expression of savagery and power. For paleontologists like Phil Curry, who scour the boneyards of the North American Badlands in search of the real T-Rex, a close encounter is a rare and thrilling event. The thing that allows Tyrannosaurus to be preserved in this part of the world is the fact that they were living on a coastal lowland and there was a tremendous amount of sediment coming in from the mountains that were rising to the west at that time. So there were large rivers running across the coastal lowland and if the Tyrannosaurus uh, body happened to fall in the water then it had a very good chance of being buried complete and uh, fast burial is one of the most critical factors in terms of uh, preserving an animal that large. So far, 17 skeletons of Tyrannosaurus have been found, all of them from Wyoming north into Alberta and Saskatchewan. Now, Tyrannosaurus probably had a much more extensive range than that. It almost certainly lived all the way from uh, the Arctic Ocean down to the Gulf of Mexico. Only 17 skeletons have been unearthed of the many millions of animals that once lived and died. A handful of clues to the mysteries of this ferocious but elusive beast.
The existence of the King of the Dinosaurs was unknown until 1902, when a former Kansas farm boy named Barnum Brown, hunting dinosaurs for the American Museum of Natural History, discovered its remains. A dinosaur bone used as an office paperweight had caught his attention. Brown traced it back to Hell Creek in Montana. But what would he find there? Even the man who would become known as Mr. Bones could hardly dare to hope for the rarest of the rare, a giant meat eater. But that is exactly what he found, halfway up a steep and treacherous canyon wall. But six years of backbreaking work yielded only incomplete fragments. Then in 1908, Brown discovered the almost intact skeleton he would call my favorite child. For Tyrannosaurus Rex, the journey back to life and legend had begun. Back at the museum in New York, Brown's boss, Henry Fairfield Osborne, was eager to show the world the animal he named Tyrannosaurus Rex. While the bones were being prepared, Osborne and Brown used models to recreate a dynamic vision of the living tyrant lizard king. Long, powerful hind legs carried the body upright, balanced by a long tail. The massive head was armed with 13 dagger-like saw-bladed teeth in each jaw. The Tyrannosaurus was capable of destroying any of the contemporary creatures and was easily the king of the period and monarch of its race. But nearly two tons of bones could not be mounted to match Osborne and Brown's vision of an agile, almost bird-like beast. Their compromise design for an upright, more static pose, which we now believe to be wrong, dominated how we saw T-Rex for more than 50 years. The unveiling of T-Rex in 1915 created a popular sensation. The upright T-Rex became the horror movie superstar of a new age of dinosaurs. Eighty years later in Montana, the painstaking search begun by Barnum Brown for the real T-Rex continues. Bill Gartska and his team are unearthing the first fragments of what he believes is a new and important skeleton. This was the first piece of bone that I picked up at the site. This is distal end of fibula small bone of the leg so it sits something like this into the ankle of the animal and it's interesting in several respects first of all you see this iron core in the middle carnivorous dinosaur bones are hollow this was the first indication that i had something really interesting we hadn't been here oh even 10 minutes picking up fragments when sean who's the group leader found this this is a tyrannosaurus tooth and this has the enamel weathered off, but it still has the ridges where the serrations on the enamel would have been. So we knew with these two pieces that we had a tyrannosaur. Even with modern power tools, dinosaur hunting in 100 degree temperatures is backbreaking work, yet so delicate that removing an entire skeleton can take years.
today, just as they did 100 years ago, the bones of T-Rex leave the Badlands as precious cargo, protected in plaster jackets.